YouTube! Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Full Fishing Channel. Today is July 3rd, 2017, my 79th outing of this year. Man, we have been a long way since the beginning of 2017, right? 11 more fishing sessions and it's gonna be three months filled with fishing. But anyways, today we are here at the Delaware Canal in Yardley, Pennsylvania. And as you guys can see, the canal is starting to enter its drought stage, right? Every year when it doesn't rain a lot, the water level here at the canal drops a lot and sometimes even gets totally dry, right? If you guys haven't seen that from my last year's video, I'm gonna post it up here on the card so you guys can access it and check it out, okay? But anyways, objective for today is to get my dad on a chain pickerel, a decent chain pickerel. As you guys should be aware of, every year I only get to see my father for 30 days here in the United States of America. And that is because he still works in Brazil, he has not retired yet, therefore he needs to be there full time. He has been here with me for about two and a half weeks now, we got the Asian Indiana Jones right there. And every year when he comes, it kind of became a family tradition to hit the Delaware Canal and try to catch a nice chain pickerel. Now, don't take me wrong, my dad has caught plenty of pickerel before, the Ezox, well, I don't like to say its last name, but you guys get the idea, but he never really landed a big one, okay? Which is why today on the canal, we are going to change our technique a little bit we are going to be using metal leaders you know and we will try to get him on a nice chain pick road today so let me get my stuff set up we're going to be walking up and down the canal it is going to be a very hot day 90 degrees fahrenheit we're going to be fishing for three four hours walking all around casting around cover with different types of lures mainly soft plastics and we shall see if today is the day that my dad is going to catch a monster chain pickerel from the canal. Stay tuned. Oh, fish on, fish on. First fish of the day. Come over here, come over here. First fish of the day. I think it's a nice chain pickerel. Oh yeah, it's a nice pickerel, guys. First fish of the day. Oh, oh, come here, come here. I'm going down to get that fish. I'm going down to get that fish. I ain't letting this fish go away, no. Uh-uh. This is good line right here. Come up here. Oh yeah, son. Oh yeah. Look at that first pickerel of the day on the side of the mouth. On the pink Sanko. <laughs> Look at that, huh? He was waiting there to be caught by the pink Senko strikes again. All right, guys, first fish of the day, chain pickerel. I don't want to leave it outside of the water for too long. So I'm just going to release this guy right over here. Yeah, he's good to go. Look at that. Swimming away there. Didn't stay outside of the water for too long. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be just fine. We took a quick photo, quick release. First fish of the day, man. It is good, looking good here. Hopefully my dad is gonna catch one of those today, all right? They are, they are called, it's not rockets in New Jersey. You guys probably know the reason why now, huh? I'm all dirty from that one fish, man. Oh, 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 rapaz, that's fish. Oh, there's a largemouth bass. Look at that. First fish for my dad. Decent, decent. Okay. Not quite what we're looking for. But as you guys can see, even with the leader, you will still hook on a few largemouth bass here and there, right? Oh, actually, you know what? For the canal, this is pretty decent. No. Yeah, that's pretty decent. Wow. All right. Let's take a shot. Release this guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Very nice first catch of the day. None of us is getting skunked, at least. 
Boom! That's right, catch and release, fellas, because the population in the canal for largemouth bass, the Micropterus salmoides, is already not very good yet. So this is the setup that we're using for today. I'm using a pink Senko, my dad is using a green Senko. We're just using a little leader, see? Just because of the pickerel, right? I want my dad to land a decent pickerel, and then we're just using Gamakatsu hooks, wacky rigged Senkos on the O-rings, right? No secret, nothing new, just that the previous years when we were here fishing, we never really landed the big pickerel because we were not using leaders, you know? So sometimes you really gotta use the leader. Let's keep on fishing. We're gonna be walking down the canal for the entire day, super hot, but hopefully we will land a few more fish. Fish on. Oh my lord, why so small? Are you for real? <laughs> small, ooh, dang, ooh, man, this one here is short and fat. Check this out. Short and fat, huh? That's why I always tell you guys, right? Short and fat ain't always bad, right? There we go. Go back, you little bad, so greedy. No, so best fish of the day coming up right here guys what in the world is oh it's a piece of trunk gee it's like a piece of rotten trunk man i thought it was some kind of trash looks like freaking sugar cane look at that oh my man okay this is natural so there it goes no need to throw it in the trash Fish on. Fish on. What we got here? It's a little pickerel. Look at that. Bit on the five inch Senko. All the way out there. Whoa, easy pickerel. Why are they so feisty, man? Look at that, huh? And the reason why you use leader, I just want to show you guys. Look at these teeth. Don't do what extreme fillet fishing is doing right here, okay? But look at these teeth, man. That's why you use a leader for this guy. Look at that. This teeth right here will get to your line in no time whatsoever, right? So there we go. Little pickerel, little chain pickerel. Second pickerel for me for the day. Look at that. Back he goes. Oh, whoa, my dad's got a fish. What is it? What is it? So you. Oh, man, the bass again. <laughs> nice size for the canal once again. But you know, I'm trying to put my dad <laughs> on pickerel, and I've been catching the pickerel, he's been catching the bass. Oh boy, look at that. Well, dude, that's a, that's a nice size for this place. But like I said, I'm trying to put him on the pickerel, he's been catching all the bass. Okay. Charles, I'm just shopping here, but I found you. Opa. Opa, rapaz. There it goes. <laughs> two bass for my dad, two pickerel for me. It's like our roles are reversed today. And I mean, I'm sure you guys realize in this video already by now that today I'm giving my dad the lead, right? In other words, we're walking left towards this canal and I'm letting him be in front so that he can cast at all those spots first, right? His chances of landing fish, his technique is pretty good, so his chances of landing fish are quite nice. I'm fishing pretty much the spots where he didn't cast at, you know? And the cool thing about having a person on the lead and another one behind is that I can kind of control the pace. So I've been casting and retrieving here with the Senko. If I see that he has he been hitting a spot for too long, I usually cl get close by to him like this. So he knows it is time to walk, you know? So it is good training for my dad over here at the canal today since he doesn't do a lot of uh, bass and pickerel fishing, you know. He gets to understand the pace and he gets to cast around cover, around structure, try to get his fish, you know. You guys may be wondering why I picked the chain pickerel for him to catch today. And that is because in Brazil, we really don't have a species of fish that is very similar to the 
to the spe to the fishes in the Azox family, right? I mean, in Brazil, in the southern portion of Brazil, I think the closest species classification, right, to the Azox family is really the Sphiraena genus, right, which is really the barracudas, you know, that you can catch in salt water over there. So anyways, it's been a super, super hot day. We've been walking this canal all over, casting everywhere. We are at two baths and two pick row. Let's see if we can, can if we can land some more fish. As you guys can hear just from this video, man, I'm like super dehydrated. We got water with us, but it is super, super hot, right? So if you were fishing the summer too, out there like we are under the sun, just make sure you don't get heat stroke, you know? All right, let's catch some more fish. Whoa, 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 fish on, fish on. That was a nice hit. Oh, it's another pickerel. It's another pickerel, guys. It's a nice pickerel right here. Look at that. Holy moly. All right. Five inch Senko. Look at that, son. I don't know why I'm catching all the pickerel today, but uh, it is what it is, you know? Very aggressive fish. Gotta be careful with it. Very feisty, very feisty. Look at that. Hooked on the side of the mouth, man. Five inch Senko working well today. Mr. Picro doesn't even know what happened to him. All right, time to initiate the surgery, doctor. A little bit of blood, but it is out, it is out. Okay, still there you go, guys. Third Picro of the day. Now I just want you to guys to check the teeth of an adult Picro, okay? The one from early today was a little baby, right? Look at this, look at this. Don't do what APF is doing right here, okay? You definitely don't want your line to be cut by these teeth right here, right? Which is exactly why I tell you guys, use leader for the pickerel. Look at that, he's fine. Was outside of the water for about only 30 seconds, 45 seconds. That was a nice chain pickerel from the canal. Look, I really want to get my dad on his first ever chain pickerel. But guys, it has been brutal out here, okay? We have been out here for four hours since I started this video, walking around under this sun right here, okay? And we have been getting roasted under it. I'm sure you guys have seen this already, right? But look, this is no joke, right? And I apply sunscreen every time I come out. I carry a lot of water so I don't get dehydrated, right? I don't get any heat stroke. But man, today it has been brutal. And I mean, it's been an odd day, right? Because in the end, I ended up catching all the chain pickerel. And my dad over there, he's still giving a few casts. He ended up catching all the large mouth bass, you know? Go figure the Delaware Canal, right? But just to emphasize, I hope you guys learned a wonderful lesson in this video. And that is, if you were fishing for 2D critters, doesn't matter which part of the country, doesn't matter which species, there are mainly three effective ways of doing so, okay? One of the ways is the way that we did in this video. You just tie a little metal leader on, on your line before your lure so that when the fish bites, it doesn't get to your line, right? But there are two other ways of doing so. One other way is, of course, you use very thick line so that it doesn't matter how sharp the teeth of the freshwater critter you want to catch, right? It won't go through your line. And the third way is, of course, you use lures that are quite big so that when the fish strikes, it doesn't really get to your line, right? For example, jerk baits, crank baits, zaris books, right? Poppers, stuff like that. So when targeting 2D critters, I hope you guys remember, right? Make sure you don't get your line cut, you know? Getting your line cut to these, these fish are no fun for you and it's no fun for the fish as well because they're gonna have piercings hanging here and there, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, guys, we tried our best for today. It's time to call it a day, go get something to eat, as always, you know? Thank you very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. So we follow the signs with the legendary fish on it and we got here at Hoy Sponge at John Hines, right? As you guys can see in the map, we walked 
a lot again. And then upon arriving here at the pond, John Hines, what the heck is going on, man? The only platform that should be available for all kids here is totally broken. I can't even get on this stuff. Look at this. This to begin with is nasty and muddy. These pieces of wood, I don't think they can sustain my fat, uh, I mean, my, you know,